minister, post the bombing, the rupee has been pretty stable and rupee bonds have been pretty stable as well. There's yeah. no sell off. How, how do you read that? Well, the Sri Lankan economy has become very resilient. And I would say it is because of the fact that in the, during the last four years, we actually laid a very strong foundation for the economy based on uh, sound uh, macroeconomic fundamentals. And as a result, the, 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 uh, the setback we thought uh, would materialize after the Easter, Easter Sunday uh, tragedy uh, is not happening. So the Sri Lankan economy is bouncing back much quicker than we ever anticipated. But some people think that the market reaction could be too early to no. read into. I mean, there are questions yeah. now about the prospects for revenue, for instance, in Sri Lanka. Yes, no, of course it may be too early, but, uh, but all the, all the uh, macroeconomic indicators uh, show otherwise because, again, as I said, for example, the, 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 uh, the foreign reserves at uh, 7.6 7 billion to cover nearly four months of imports the trade deficit uh, declining uh, to a five-year low in February. Sri Lanka again achieving a, a primary uh, uh, balance uh, uh, surplus. For the first time in six years are some of the indicators that Sri Lankan economy can actually, uh, uh, how would you say it, to manage the storm. And we believe that this is not a mere temporary phase, that it will, uh, it will manage the storm and also uh, uh, the, the security situation, I believe, is also getting that much better, even though we had to, uh, I must admit, that the initial uh, attack took place because of some uh, security and intelligence uh, issues, but in a very short period of time, the Sri Lankan security forces and the police are very much on top of the situation. And even the tourists, who we believe, uh, because that is the, an industry which collapses in any country, the moment there's a terrorist attack, uh, went away in large numbers, but now we get the feeling that they're returning. If activity slows down, if revenue falls short of expectations, what are the options available to you? What will you do? No, there are many options available, but for the moment, I really don't think those options need to be utilized because we are pretty confident that uh, we are on top of the situation. And I would also perhaps like to use this opportunity to, to tell all our friends from all over the world not to stop coming to Sri Lanka. I mean, it is a beautiful country. And this problem of terrorism, they are everywhere, not only in Colombo, but unlike most places, despite uh, the terror which was unleashed, uh, the country remains a beautiful, one of the best possible spots for tourists to have a holiday. And we can ensure that many of the incidents which happened in the, in the a week ago will not recur again. But of course, vigilance, we have to be eternally vigilant and as a country, we are, we are quite capable of ensuring that these things don't happen again. Minister, if you do need to borrow more, do you think you can borrow without pushing up rates a lot? Well, at the moment, I basically, in fact, I, I was here in Suva, in Fiji rather, uh, speaking to some of the banks, and they too have a very positive outlook on the future of Sri Lanka. We talked earlier about tourism and how you're seeing tourism return. You have said as well that you're intending to help the hoteliers with a package plan. Could you elaborate on that? In fact, uh, I came to Fiji uh, four days ago before I could meet the industry. They have already met the Prime Minister and the President and they have given uh, some of their requests uh, which will be considered. In fact, I'm hoping to 
meet them uh, as soon as I get back next week and we will certainly uh, give their request serious consideration because tourism is... But uh, what are you planning to do? No, for to start off with, I think many of them really basically been asking for example uh, duty-free waivers etc et on uh, bringing security equipment for hotels uh, and other uh, places where tourists are gathered. So all these uh, requests will be given serious considerations, decisions taken quickly so that we could get back to normal. The tourism industry can get back to normal as soon as possible. In fact, we have been studying uh, similar cases in other parts of the world, Tunisia, Balazzo, Bali, and in all those places with the right kind of action, I would say tourism could bounce back to normalcy uh, in a, in, within a short period, maybe as short as uh, one year, one and a half years. Is there reason to think that you may have to tap into the emergency funds of the World Bank, the Asian no, Development no, Bank? No, 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 no. We are, we, are, uh, we are basically all right for now. Right now, what do you deem as the biggest risk to the Sri Lankan economy? Well, the biggest risk would be the continuation of such attacks in the future. Uh, but now uh, we feel that we can manage it and hope, uh, hoping that it doesn't recur again. Uh, the Sri Lankan economy is moving uh, slowly but soundly forward. As I said earlier, we do have a very sound, firm economy based on macroeconomic fundamentals and based on the rule of law, good governance and democracy. Can you give investors the assurance that the terror network has been contained? Yes, I would say that it has been contained, but as someone said uh, that the terrorists need to be lucky, uh, lucky only once. Uh, but on the other hand, Sri Lanka is is, is uh, not, the, not the only victim in the world and now we are working hand in hand with a global network to ensure that uh, these sort of attacks uh, by these hideous terrorists don't happen again in our country.